what's up everybody welcome back to another unboxing I've uh, taken a, time, a bit of time since the last unboxing and I've gotten a bunch a bunch of stuff some of which I actually went ahead and you know, took out of the boxes or it was purchased like in you know for local flea markets or whatnot so I'm gonna have to move really quick because I'm starving at the moment it's late it's actually practice night for the band and I had not had my din din yet so it's um it's time to move this stuff let's get it going but yeah, the motivation is the artwork for real, and like I like having the uh, the old VHS as a display item, you know. Especially if I can see a, a bunch of them at once, and so it's kind of neat. I really love the art, you know, and just the feeling, you know, being in a video store would, would give you. Um, wow, looks like there's a few DVDs in this one as well. Maybe they are all uh, all. Uh, okay, so check it out. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman <laughs> trauma release called Nightfall. I'm not sure how good that'll be, but it definitely has a cool cover. One of my all-time favorites. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a huge sci-fi buff. One of my all-time favorite films right there. Life Force Matilda May. Whew, have mercy. Something called Torso. Not really familiar with it. And uh, it's a clamshell box though. That's pretty cool. Something a little bit different. Um, yeah, it is VHS. Oh, for a second, it might be Beta there. Another one of my all-time favorite films. Had this on VHS back in the day, lent it to somebody, never came back. Of course, I have the special edition DVD as well, but uh, yeah, Near Dark, amazing. They've changed the box art now, too, by the way, so um, don't know why, because I think that's a really incredible cover. It's got the... Uh, the crew of vampires there walking across a ridge at night, and then the, some of the main vampire characters. Bill Paxton, awesome in this. Ah, oh, The Lost Boys. Now that's a repeat, of course I have that on VHS and DVD. I probably end up selling one of those on eBay or something. I'm starting to run into a lot of repeats the more of these I get. John Carpenter's Vampires. Of course I own it on DVD, one of my favorite vampire films, but I uh, did not have the VHS. This will look great on my rack of uh, VHS. Oh, some more good stuff in here, including some films that I don't actually have. Um, zombie Lake. Well, I'm looking around here at the, um, the actual Zombie Lake DVD, which has completely different and much better art. I don't know what's up with that. That's a pretty horrible colorized shot from the black and white film, you know, so I don't know what they were going for there. But, uh, American Gothic. I actually have never seen this. Must check that out. Pretty banged up box there, but obviously a rental. Uh, the Addict, totally bleated out uh, cover, so yeah. Check that out later. Interview with a Vampire. Yeah, I have that on DVD, of course. Um, but these are all good additions to the library, you know, just to fill it out. Something called Modern Vampires. <laughs> I suspect this really sucks, but hey. These are pretty cheap. I think I paid like 15 bucks for a box of these. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like 18 or so. Bordello of Blood. I really dug this. Also have it on DVD, but never had it on VHS. It's pretty cool. Same goes for uh, Blade. I'm, I'm way less interested in like the modern movies on VHS uh, as opposed to like movies from the 80s that were around when you know my buddies and I were walking around the old mom and pop video stores. Another version of Bordello of Blood. Definitely have to sell one of those, figure out which one. And what's interesting is they have completely different cover art. What a trip. Ah, uh, Dust Till Dawn. Yeah. Of course, I got the DVD of that. Innocent Blood. Excellent, excellent vampire flick. I did not have a copy of this, so at least I've got that now. Bram Stoker's Dracula. You know, I actually really like that film. A lot of folks are just too wrapped up in hating on Keanu Reeves or whatever his name is. Ghost Story, not familiar with this one. Haven't seen it. So, that's it for the um, for the VHS update. And 
next I'm going to move on to my uh, Fangoria unboxing. Thanks for watching.